hello beautiful thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video i have three wigs in the same style but different color and they're brought to you by hair so fly shop i'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store the brand of the wig that i have today is sensational i have one of their butter lace wigs the features of this wig is virtual undetectable hd lace blends with most skin tones ear-to-ear -ear lace with a five inch deep hand tied parting area pre-plucked hairline with baby hairs and a natural density hairline. This is what the wig looked like straight out the box. I have it in the color two. Color Money Piece Hazel. And color Flamboyage Chocolate. This is what the inside of the color 2 looks like. They pretty much all come the same. I see that wider parting space in the front that they're talking about on the stock card. You get two combs in the front, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit material and the lace is coming off gray on my skin. I'm going to try my best to go in and tint it to my color. So I really love how the hairline and the parting space comes pre-plucked. Also all around the hairline, it comes with baby hairs. But I would like to get the hairline a little bit more flatter and get it to frame my face. So I'm just running it through with my hot comb. And I like how the front has like a hump at the top. So I just use the hot comb to get that hump. And the hump just frames my face. So I run it halfway through, not all the way through because I don't want to mess up the curls. Just stay by the roots and I just press the hairline and the parting space. If you are a super beginner and you don't know how to cut off the extra lace, you just hold the hairs of the hairline back and just take your scissors and cut right along that hairline. The baby hairs are a little too long for my liking, so I'm just taking my scissors and cutting it down. Hey there you guys, so thank you so much for clicking my video. The first color that I will be showing you guys today is the color number two. This is what I look like in natural sunlight. Um, let me hook the adjustable straps real quick. Right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. I like to hook them really close. The stocking cap that I'm going with underneath, like always, is a brown nude stocking cap. So let's do this, you guys. not playing they want to slay all the girls all the queens and kings oh okay okay hmm I like what they got going on here all right come through lace This is so cute. All right, so I'm gonna go in, add some baby hairs, and come right back to you guys.
this is what the hairstyle is looking like after I'm done and it's really cute I like the light waves they got going on but it's something about the length in the front that I'm just not feeling so I'm gonna end up going in and cutting off a little bit of that length in the front I cut off some of that length in the front. I like it way more better on me. It looks really nice and calm. So the texture of this hair, if I didn't mention before, it's a silky texture, but it has this tiny light coarse feeling to it, like a perm yaki texture. As for the density on the wig, to me the density is low, but not too low. It goes really nicely with the style of the wig. The shine, this wig do come with a shine, but to me it's not that shiny, but if you don't like the shine, you can always go in and dim it down with dry shampoo. As for tangling, I didn't really run my fingers through it, but I didn't feel any tangles. As for shedding, I didn't get any shedding. This is how the curl pattern really looks straight out of the box. I didn't go in and really play with it like that. As for the lace, once you get the lace to match your skin tone, it blends in really nicely. And I love the fact that I didn't have to go in with any glue, gel, tape, anything to get the lace to lay down. It's just laying really flat. And it's just blending really nicely. Great job, Sensational. All right, you guys. So the next color up is, you know, one of my favorites by Sensational. Hopefully it looks good on this kind of style of wig. Money, peas, hazel, you guys. Ooh baby so i'm just gonna go ahead and hook the adjustable straps as close as possible then pop this wig on my head i know what kind of lace sensational has been using lately for these butter lace units but keep using it because man oh man these laces like really blend really good. So just pops her on. Not bad, not bad. Let me just go ahead and style her to my liking. Right here is my end results on the Money Piece Hazel color, and I love this color so much, you guys. This color looks really nice on this wig, and I really love these bobs. They're really cute for every day. As for the color, I love the way the roots just fade into the color. There's no harsh line of demarcation. The shine on this wig is just right as well. It looks like I just got my hair done love 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 it so with this color i ended up running my fingers through lightly to um get the curls to be a little bit more flat and i didn't get any tingling and i didn't get any shedding at all as for the density on this one the density on this one is low as well but like i said before i like it it goes really nicely with the wig love it no complaints 
the lace is blending in with my skin really nicely as well and the parting space i love how the parting space comes pre-plucked it looks really natural looking I feel like this color is going to be sold out quick. It's just something about this color that screams by me. All right, you guys, so the last color up is, what is this? Flamboyage Chocolate. I feel like this color is really cute for fall, okay? And like always, right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap wigs. I tried to do a right side parting with this wig, but I'm not really feeling it 100% all the way, so I think I'm just gonna do it as a middle part. To get the curls to look a little bit neater, I'm just going in with a wide tooth comb and combing out the hair a little bit. So this is my end results on the Flame Boy Yacht Chocolate color and I love this color so much. It looks so gorgeous on this wig, fall ready or nah. So the density on this one, I feel like it is a little bit more fuller than the other two colors, but it's still nice. As for the length, um, if I didn't mention this before, the length of this wig on me, I would say is about 10 to 12 inches. My height is 5'6". With this one, I did not cut the ends at all. I just left it alone for the people that don't want the ends cut and you guys will like its style just naturally. This is what it would look like, and I feel like it looks really nice. With the other two colors, I just wasn't feeling it, so I had to cut it. But this one, it could rock, it could rock. So when I was combing it, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, I got zero shedding. I love how this wig has some body to it, and I love how it moves when I move. Really nice. Love this wig. Totally recommend I wish I got more colors, but I did not know it was going to be this dope. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching.